All right, so um, so in this second video for chapter one, we're going to be looking at different types of variables. So if you remember from the first video, the variables we're talking about the what. So when you when you're collecting data, um, the variables would be kind of what you for each individual. Um, what exactly are you asking? What are you? What kind of information are you getting from these individuals? Um, so there are different types of variables, and the main two that we're going to look at are categorical and quantitative. We'll see a couple of other types, but uh, the main ones that you need to make sure that you understand are the categorical and quantitative. Um, so a categorical variable, uh, categorical variables. These are variables. that can be grouped into categories, um, surprisingly enough, I guess. Uh, so for example, and you can think of with these, um, maybe if you're filling out a survey or a questionnaire or an application of some sort, uh, what types of questions might you see where um, you check the box? Um, Stuff like that would be considered categorical variables. Um, so for instance, what, what state do you live in? So most of you probably live in Florida, um, that would be a category. Or um, what is your religion? What is your race? Uh, what is your gender? What is your eye color? or your hair color, or your favorite color, or uh, what's your favorite uh, food, that kind of thing. Any kind of, any kind of question like that where um, you, can, you can kind of list the categories and then you would just check the box, whatever box you happen to fall in. Um, so those would be categorical variables. Quantitative variables, on the other hand, are these are variables that are measured or that can be measured. That and be measured. Uh, so these you might think of, these are normally numerical, um, maybe always, um, but for these you could think of what kind of, what kind of things would you measure in a science class? So um, height and weight are obvious ones. You could also talk about distance, you could talk about uh, length, you could talk about speed, maybe time, uh, these kinds of things, density, um, anything like that. So those are all those are all types of quantitative variables. Um, it, now, here's here's a question. Now, no, normally when I do this in a live class, well, I'll give the definition of categorical variable and say, uh, give me an example of categorical variable. And at some point, someone will usually say age somewhere in there. And I'll say, no, let's talk about age in a minute. And then we get to quantitative variables and then someone else, someone else will say age there. So is age categorical or quantitative? Uh, the answer is it depends. Or the answer is um, maybe, maybe both. Probably not both. Let's let's not say both. Let's say one or the other. Um, it could be one or the other. It could be either one. Uh, so how could age be categorical? Uh, well, so you need to think of categories. If you ever say a variable is categorical, you you need to be able to at least think of how how could this be put into categories. So categorical. Um, here are some age categories: child, teen, adult. So those are age categories. Quantitative, um, this one is, you know, you are 18 years old. Your, your dog is three years old. Your car is five years old. Um, your house is 60 years old, whatever it is. Or, um, yeah, I mean, that had to be years. It could be measured in whatever, however it's measured. Um, then it's going to be a quantitative variable. Um, so if you ever if you ever have a problem where it, it age is one of the variables and then it says uh, what type of variable is age, the answer is not both. The answer is, it's it's one or the other, but it's not both at the same time. So you, if, if the rule of thumb usually is, and this goes with any type of variable that is questionable, uh, if you 
are given categories, then it's categorical. Or in, in these cases, um, the categories are pretty obvious what the, what the categories would be. Um, so those are categorical. It, these are obviously measured, so those are going to be quantitative. But if it if it's kind of could go either way, usually you go with if if they list the categories, you can call it categorical. If they don't, then it's quantitative. So, um, all right. So looking next, now we have identifiers. So identifiers, and again, these these two we're not going to see too often, but they could come up from time to time especially in this first chapter. Uh, so identifiers are used to uniquely identify individuals. And sometimes people have a hard time thinking of these, but once you, once you come up with one, uh, it's very easy to come up with more. So the easy one to uh, say first off is your social security number. Uh, another one would be student ID. Another one would be your driver's license number or your car tag and a car tag is not used to identify an individual it's used to identify an individual car but it still still works because your car tag is unique <coughs> uh, then we have ordinal variables now these are these are a little bit tricky so uh, ordinal variables are not measured necessarily and they kind of look like categorical variables but they're, they kind of act like, they look like categorical variables, but they kind of act like uh, quantitative. So ordinal variables report order without units. And it's not that you're necessarily measuring something, but um, you're kind of putting things into categories, but the categories go in a particular order. So if you think about, uh, these categorical variables that we listed up here. Um, and let's just say state. Now, if I ask you to list states, states, can, you know, typically, I guess they're probably listed in alphabetical order, but that's that's a little bit arbitrary. Or if we say religion, list, list the religions. Um, you know, depending on who you ask, you're going to list them in different orders. Probably list their own first and then, um, kind of go with the ones that they're familiar with in whatever particular order, but there's no order to list the religions. Um, same thing with race. There's no order for listing the races. Um, so that's kind of where categorical uh, is different than the ordinal. Ordinal, um, so for instance, uh, Olympic medals, that might be an ordinal variable. So gold, silver, bronze. Usually when you list them, they're in that order and they kind of go in that order. Like gold is first place, silver is second place, bronze is third place. So um, that's an example. Uh, let's say like a rating scale. And by this, I mean like uh, strongly agree. All the way down to strongly disagree. And you could fill in the ones in between, strongly disagree. And it looks terrible, but strongly disagree. Uh, so strongly agree, agree, neither disagree, strongly disagree. So those are, that's a rating scale, or you could, you know, four star, three star, two star, one star, no star, whatever it is. Um, so ordinal variables, they have a different order, but they're not, you're not really measuring something. Um, it's kind of categorical, but it's not like, there's an order to the categories, I guess. Um, but again, we're not going to see those too often. So um, just basic idea will we'll get you by on those. All right. Um, so a couple more examples. And then these, we'll, we're going to identify the six W's and identify the variables as categorical or quantitative. So number two says, because of the difficulty of weighing a bear in the woods, Researchers caught and measured uh, 22 bears recording their weight, neck size, body length, and sex. They hope to find a way to estimate weight from the more other more easily determined quantities. So um, who, what, when, where, why, why, and how. 
so the who, so the who is the sample again. The who is the 22 bears. The what, uh, these are the information that they got from the bears. And so this would be the weight. And as we go, let's identify these as categorical or quantitative. Uh, so weight is quantitative. We have neck size. Neck size would be quantitative. We have body length. This would also be quantitative. And then we have sex is categorical. Uh, and now remember from the first video, uh, these first two, the who and the what are always given. Um, you'll always be able to identify those from, from paragraph. The, the rest of them maybe, maybe not. Now the when, um, when is pretty explicit. If it doesn't give a date, it, the when is not given. So not given. The where, uh, now this one is tricky. A lot of people want to say the woods, but the, the, the where is where did they record the information? Um, it says they caught them. So they didn't, they probably did not do this in the woods. If they did, it's not explicitly given. So you normally with the where, you kind of want it to be pretty explicit as well. So the when, you need kind of need a date. The where, um, it pretty much needs to say where they record all their information. And it doesn't explicitly say that. So we're going to leave that one blank. The why, why were they doing this? Um, Again, this one probably should be pretty explicitly given. And in this case it is, they hope to find a way to estimate weight. So we'll just say estimate weight. They hope to estimate weight from the other things that they were measuring. Uh, and then the how, uh, we'll, for the how, we're, we're gonna say they caught and measured the bears. This one um, could be, I mean, it's a little bit, could be a little bit tricky sometimes because usually sometimes you got to kind of extrapolate how, but, um, <clears throat> the how is typically how did they get their information? So caught and measured the bears. Um, okay, so that's all for that one. Uh, number three, and this will be the last one for this chapter, researchers investigating the impact of Tutoring on test scores collected data from 650 tutoring sessions during 2005 to 2007. They kept track of the student's age, the number of weeks the tutoring lasted, the type of tutoring, frequency of tutoring, uh, GPA and sex of the student, and whether the student exhibited improvement. So we're gonna do the same thing, the six W's and for the, for the what's, the variables we're going to uh, identify what kind. So the who, what and we'll 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 do that one and then we'll get the rest. Uh, all right. So the the who now when I do this one in a live class and I get them to kind of tell me what what the who is. I think to yourself, what what would you say the who is? Um, I usually get either six hundred fifty tutoring sessions or students. And which which one could it be? Because normally. When you see a number attached to something like that, 650 tutoring sessions, uh, we tend to think that's going to be the who. And normally you're right, but this one is going to be the students. Now, how, how would you know that? Um, if you're ever unsure, uh, and this might be, well, you could, you could still do this on my math lab. You just may not be able to actually do it on my math lab. But if you have trouble with the who, identify the what. The what's usually pretty easy to identify. So the what in this case, uh, we have age, that'll be a quantitative variable. We have number of weeks, that's gonna be a quantitative variable. Uh, we have, let me uh, move myself out of the way, type. Uh, type is going to be categorical and you notice they give Category, structured, unstructured, combined. We have frequency. Now, frequency is also categorical. And how do we know? Because we have categories, monthly, weekly, daily. Uh, GPA, that will be quantitative. Sex is categorical. And then improvement. Now, improvement, that one could be 
quantitative or categorical, but we know it's categorical because we're given uh, categories, none, minor, major. So those are the categories. It is possible, I mean, we could, you could pretty easily come up with a way that improvement could be quantitative. Maybe they take a test, take a test at the start of this tutoring, take, go to tutoring for a few weeks or months, take a test at the end of tutoring, see how much the difference in the score. That would be a quantitative way to make improvement be quantitative. Um, but we're given categories, so it's going to be ca uh, categorical. All right, so now going back to the who, how do you know this is? these are students? Uh, what are all these talking about? We're, these, are, these are looking at students. Age is a student, GPA, obviously student, sex, obviously student, um, number of weeks. Now, these are kind of talking about tutoring, but the, the number of weeks would be assigned to a student, not a tutoring session. Tutoring sessions, obviously, are just one day, and that's it. Um, so that's kind of how you decide if you're, if you're ever unsure of, what, of who the who is, look at the what, and the what will indicate who, who is the what pointing to, and that will, that will give you an idea. Uh, who, what, when, when is obviously 2005 to 2007, where, uh, the where is not given, so doesn't say it's at a school, it could be at an uh, independent tutoring center, uh, the where is not given. Uh, who, what, where, when, why, and this would be investigate impact of tutoring on test scores, and then how, we'll just say collected data from tutoring sessions. All right. Um, Okay, so that's it. So the main things with chapter one, uh, be able to identify these things from a paragraph which gives you information about a survey or an experiment. Uh, and then the other main thing is be able to identify the different types of variables. So, um, and this, this lays a good foundation. Um, I, I don't, I wouldn't say you're explicitly asked these types of questions later on, but you do need to know them, like especially later in the, in this, course, um, the way we're going to work problems will depend on if the variable is quantitative or categorical. So it's very important to be able to, to know that. And also um, identifying samples is, you know, who is in the sample is pretty important as well. So um, ask questions in the discussion board or email me and we can set up a meeting to go over any questions that you might have.